All right, absolute value of a number. What do we mean whenever we refer to an absolute value? Uh, the thing I want you to think of for absolute value is distance. All right, absolute value is all about distance. For example, if we were talking about New York City and Los Angeles, we could talk about the distance from LA to New York being, you know, about 2,500 miles. But if you were going from New York to LA, you would still refer to that distance as, you know, the same thing, about 2,500 miles. So for distance, we don't associate it with being positive or negative, typically. So we're kind of dropping the whole direction idea. And for absolute value, that's what we're doing as well. We're just referring to the distance. So first of all, the symbol for absolute value is the two elongated lines, kind of like parentheses. And whatever we're taking the absolute value of is in the middle. So for example, absolute value of eight. If we think back to the number line, we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight would be about here. So if we're referring to the absolute value of eight, again, absolute value refers to the distance, but it's the distance back to the origin. So back to here. So how far is it from zero to eight? Well, eight units. So the absolute value of 8 is just 8. But the thing that the absolute value does is even if we were going from the other direction, the absolute value of negative 8, uh, let's see, 0, out here somewhere would be negative 8. If we were going from 0 to negative 8, again, this distance here back to zero, absolute value is always the distance back to zero, the distance is still eight. So whether we're referring to the absolute value of eight being eight, dis, uh, eight units, in this case just to the right, the absolute value of negative eight is still eight units. Uh, it's a common, I guess, mistake to change the sign. The absolute value, as you can see, does not always change the sign because even though it changed the negative here, it ended up being a positive 8. We didn't change the sign of the positive 8 and make it negative. It is still positive. Another way to think of the absolute value is that it always makes the answer or whatever is inside the absolute value. It always makes it positive. So let's take a look at our example question here. Absolute value of a number. Evaluate the following. So we have two things here to evaluate. The absolute value of 14, again remember, absolute values always gives us positive numbers. So the absolute value of 14 would be 14. We can just remove those absolute value symbols. And the absolute value of negative 15, the absolute value becoming positive makes it a positive. 15 because the distance from negative 15 to 0 is still a positive 15.